Hey YouTube, Craig here. And today I'm gonna to talk about the state of my modern pen collection and what's been going on with it. So let's check it out. All right guys, so I'm sure you've been wondering like, hey Craig, what's been going on with your collection? You haven't been collecting very many modern pens and it's true, I haven't. I've been really focusing mostly on my Waterman Ideal Found Pen collection, which has grown to be this crazy thing. I have over 50 pens. I have display cases now, I have these really cool ink bottles from like the 19 teens. Uh, I have books, I have advertisements, I have all kinds of stuff. And I love them. I love them so much, I just can't really stop collecting them. And not only that, I really wanna start focusing a lot of my content on my antique Waterman pens. But in the meantime, I do wanna show you that yes, I still do have modern pens. All of these pens I have here are more of things that I, I'm happy to daily write with. One of these actually is antique, but everything else is completely modern. But I wanted to show uh, what I do have left. So I still have my Mont Blanc 149, which is funny. If I pull this out, you can see the giant spot left behind from when one of my pens leaked in there. But I still have this pen, it's from 1995 and it's all inked up with Mont Blanc around the world in 80s blue, and I write with it a couple times a week. It's just been, it's a great writer. You can get a Mont Blanc 149, and this one was like 450, so it's still pretty expensive for a fountain pen, but, but it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg like the new ones do. Next, I have the Mont Blanc 146. This is a vintage one from the 70s. It has a 18 karat gold nib on it versus the newer ones usually just have 14 karat gold nibs. This is also inked up with a, Around the World in 80 Days Blue and I, I still use this one all the time. It's a, it's a great size for me. It works really well for me. And I still love this in my collection. Next is the Pilot Custom 823. This is the smoke variation. I had the amber. I originally bought the amber with a fine nib. Uh, but one of my friends didn't like the, the medium so much, so we did a trade. So I traded and I ended up with the smoke. And I this one is inked up with Pilot Blue. And I use it all the time. So, really do like this pen. Next is the Pilot Vanishing Point. This one I got a, as a gift for my 34th birthday from my friend Greg Cheek, the Antique Digger. It's like the most colorful thing that I have in my collection, but it's uh, it's inked up, super easy to use. Yeah, it's definitely a keeper in this collection. There should be of no surprise that I still have my Lamy 2000. This is something I've held, held on to and had since 2016. Now, six years later, it's still fantastic. It's still, the piston still works great. It all writes great. It's something I'll never get rid of. It'll always have a place in my collection. And it's one of the few pens that I have in my collection that I, I really do, I feel like I can just beat it up and take it anywhere with me. Next, we have the Kaveco AL Sport, and this is the one that has a medium 14 karat gold nib on it. And these just have cartridges in them. But they write great. I don't use them as frequently as other ones. I mean, they are small pens, even the AL Sport Posted is still a very, very small pen, but I've actually been getting a lot of these for my friends at work and giving them to them. So just the Kaveco Sports in general, they're just so cheap, but they're they're great. They're great for the price. And this is one that I absolutely love with the little retro clip on it. And then as far as Kavecos go, I still have my Kaveco Skyline Sport with the Nomos branding on it. I love my Nomos watches. So therefore I wanted to keep, hold on to this guy. Yeah, great little rider. Has a little blue cartridge in it right now. Has a car and dosh. Ideally blue cartridge in it, but great rider. It's funny, it's actually longer posted than the AL Sport. Great little pen. This is uh, was actually a gift from my friend uh, Matt Greenberger. It is a unbranded, has a warranted nib. It's a number three sized warranted nib. Has really nice flex to it. Is made out of 
hard rubber and it is a sleeve filler. So you pull back the barrel of the pen and then you have this little sleeve filler that you just push down the ink sack and then suck up ink into it. And then when you're done, you slide this back. It has a patent date on it of February 7th, 1905. This is from around 1910. It's a little mismatched. The, uh, the chasing on it is there's just different chasing patterns on the cap and on the barrel, but they were meant for each other because you can see the section meet up with the cap. It's really cool to see that that was there just to make sure that it's like a safety, you know, that it, that the pen is closed properly. It's pretty cool though. So I have this as well. It's not modern, but it is something that's not Waterman's. And lastly, I have my Namiki Chinkin Dragon Emperor. This one is still inked up. It's a big, big pen. I've had a couple people get mad at me about the case I was using for it, um, saying that it wasn't meant for this particular pen, but it was a Namiki case, but that's all the only case I have right now for it. I don't really take it out places, but I, I do want to take it to so the San Francisco Pen Show and things like that. And I want people to be able to get their hands on it, to try it out and write with it. It's just such a cool, amazing piece. I really have to zoom in on it just to really show off that detail because it's just totally stunning. All the handwork that was done on it. Very thankful that I own this. You can just barely see that blind cap. Just barely make out the details on that blind cap. It's crazy how, how good it all fits together. Beautiful pen, proud to own it. But really that is all of my modern pens. Everything else that I have in my collection is a Waterman Ideal Found Pen. And I'm just so passionate about it. I. I want to keep, you know, I want to keep going with my Waterman pens. So the YouTube channel, I'm still going to review modern stuff here and there. Is this the end of my modern pen collecting? No, there's, there might be ones out there that I'm interested in in the future, especially more of the uh, Namiki line or the Platinum or, or things like that. But I, I'm really excited about the direction my collection is going in. I'm really excited about more Waterman Ideal Found Pens pre-1930. I just really had to get this off my chest. I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot more antique found pen videos, and then I'll have some modern pens and inks sprinkled in there. So thanks so much, you guys. I really appreciate you. And that's the video. Thanks so much for checking out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content like this and check out my Instagram at Craig Rocanova. I look forward to seeing a lot of you hopefully at the San Francisco Pen Show. I'll be there from August 25th until August 29th. So stop by, say hi, and uh, let's chat some pens. All right guys, we'll see you all real soon. Peace.